Hey there guys, this is just going to be a quick little 25 point game of War Machine and it's going to be up against Epic Krios here. So he's going to have a Crusader, a Vanquisher, some little Warjack that starts with an R, I always can't remember their names, but he also has the book, he has the choir, and on my side here I have Maylock who's going to be running a Spitter. I also have two posse and a witch doctor, and yeah, you get to 25 points pretty quick. Uh, he also has some sin raiders. Now, this is just like a little fast thing we did, so we just kind of threw down a zone in the middle, said, you know, five to win, one to control, two to dominate, you know, all that good stuff. I know that building's not supposed to be in the zone, but we just kind of threw things down. Uh, either way, the plan here is basically just get up there and attrition him. I know he has a little bit of shooting, and I have to really kind of respect that feat where he automatically hits and get another attack and all that good stuff. But if I can definitely get the jump on him and try and kill those Sin Raiders, that would be awesome. I also have a little Croak Hunter there on the right, and uh, maybe he can help soften those guys down as well. So he gets first turn, and he's basically just moving up towards the zone. My first turn, doing the same thing, a Death Pack up on the, the right posse there. He moves up just a little bit more. He's being fairly cautious, uh, knowing how I can jump across, uh, forcing me to have to use Pathfinder if I want to crawl, go across that wall. On my turn, I really shift over. So even though I'd like to kill the Sin Raiders, I don't have to deal with them. So what I do is I do a few shots of them between the, the Turtle and the Crow Hunter and do some damage. But you can see otherwise, I'm just completely shifting to the left. Because if I can just nullify the scenario, I could probably get the Crocs uh, all the way to his rear if I needed. So on his turn, he's not going to let that happen. He's coming up to me. I had the one Gator that was further up to try and bait out the uh, Crusader. So he's gone up, but now there's a spell on him that gives him plus two armor, so that's an issue. Uh, the Sin Raiders have now moved up. One of them died from corrosion because I'd done seven damage before. And uh, luckily, one of the things I like that he did here is that he uh, had the spell up before that if I ever kill his guys, I get knocked down. Uh, he's now dropped that, so that's great. I can now try and kill these guys, and I'm now seeing him in a pretty strong uh, position here. He did, uh, you know, try and take some shots at me with the Vanquisher and stuff, but scattered off, did very little damage. And now I see this is a very good time to pop feet because I'll go incorporeal. Uh, even though it doesn't look like it here normally, uh, all of my Gators can charge his Sin Raiders on the right because of how I can just move through my own models, no problem, and then uh, hopefully do a good number on the Crusader there. So on my turn, I res up uh, another one of those gators, uh, basically just charging into Crusader and then just using one to tie up the Vanquisher. I uh, do okay against the Crusader, uh, nothing too crazy, knockout, I think one of the arms or something like that. But the biggest thing here that I like is those Cinerators are all done. Uh, the Crow Hunter going over, killing a choir, uh, the turtle taking a shot and uh, going, I believe that was uh, at his... Uh, caster there, E. Kriya, so didn't really do much damage on him, but a little tiny bit, and he also has corrosion on him right now. On his turn, his Crusader and Vanquisher just go and start cleaning up the left units. I lose three Gators there, which really hurts. And then the other guy here goes and flames my, my other posse, mainly just putting on fire. You know, at this point here, between Death Pack and Defeat, there's some like Armor 20. Yeah, 22 if they would have been combat, but they don't have unyielding against the shot. But Armor 20 means he's not really doing much damage. And on my turn, it's pretty easy, raising up some gators, uh, coming over here, just shooting at Krios, and uh, he dies. Actually, I finished him with the Crow Hunter, which is kind of cool. But uh, there you go, a pretty fast one. Really liking Maylock for how he just raises up the gators, uh, especially seems in small games that he's very powerful. But I uh, hope you like watching. Bye.